cow right now that uh, has been in labor. Um, let's see if she's progressing or if she needs any help. We had two heifers born. Um, one was born right around 1.30. One was born a little bit before that. If I had to guess, it'd be around noon. It was up and drinking um, and dry, so. We'll go check on her in a little bit, but I just want to check on 51 here. She's way down there. Got my new binoculars that Jim got me. So, All right, let's see what we got going on here. I got chain hooked up by the gate. I do have my nylon strap if I can get that on. Got my OB gloves just to uh, check the position of the calf. I got this awesome new OB handle that my neighbors got me for helping their daughter pull a calf last week. So let's see what we got going on and we'll see if we have a normal position calf. She kept trying to claim everybody's calf in uh, the yard. So rather than sitting down and pushing, she's been trying to claim everybody else. So we'll see what we got going on. Dogs, get. been watching her for a while now and there just hasn't been any progression so I figured it'd probably be best just to bring her up in the yard. Patrick. I'm going to tie her tail off to the side so I don't keep getting slotted. Now that's out of the way, I'm gonna go get my hand. Put. I'm feeling the nose, I got the jaw, and there's two feet, so it is a normal, duck. get. It's a normal presentation. So I'm gonna go ahead and see, it doesn't appear to be a very, large calf by the size of the nose, um, but I could very well be wrong. Fingers crossed. Dogs! Well, I guess it's Patrick. She's definitely dilated. Birth, but all of the uh, the 
yummy, gooey stuff coming out. Should have had this thing popped out like 20 minutes ago, Chica. Dew claws there above the knuckle. That's where we like it. Of course, tail. So we got both feet presented. And I lost the other one. I knew that was going to happen. This one above the knuckle here. There we go. The calf is kicking, so that's a good sign. It means it's alive in there. All right. So I'm just gonna pull gently here and see if she'll work with me. Kind of help push this calf out. And make sure its nose is down. There we go. Move this over here so you can maybe get a little bit better view. I have to clean my GoPro after this. So you can see she's got contractions and she's pushing and helping with me. So I'm gonna just put, apply a little tension downward. Give her a second to breathe here. Baby's blinking, if you can see that. Come on, mama. Push. Hardest part's over, honey. There we go. Keep it coming. There. Good job, mama. See, it's not so bad. There. So I'm going to drag calf out of the way here. We have what looks to be our third heifer of the day. Take these chains off. Make sure everything is okay. Untie mama's tail here. Easy peasy. Now I'm just gonna pull him or her off the side just a little bit more so that when I let mom go, she won't accidentally step on him. Finally claim your own now. Uh. 
You see babies are already starting to try and stand up. It's amazing how fast. Good mama. Yeah, I don't know if she was just too busy concerned with everybody else's babies or what, but she shouldn't have had a problem delivering that one. It's extremely easy pull. Good girl, mama. All right, well, we'll just let them be and we'll come back and check on them in a little bit. She's a really good mom. We've had her, we, she was born and raised here. She was born in, um, I believe 2016. I'm not, I'm not mistaken. So she's a few years old. She's a really nice cow. So we'll let them be. Well, it's been anything short of a interesting evening. The heifer in the yard decided to cast herself. And uh, so I was able to get her back leg flipped over and uh, spin her around a little bit just to get uh, her feet underneath her. And then, uh, anyways, back to the cow that I uh, had pulled earlier today. We had her up in the yard here and she had her calf nice and dry. And uh, she was just hanging out in the barn. Well, I happened to be out here with um, trying to get that heifer on her feet. I uh, came out to this. So, dogs, get. So that one over there, laying with a pink tag, is the one that she had earlier that I pulled. And this little fella just happened to pop out while I was working on Raina's rabbit cage. So, yeah, I guess uh, the reason why she was having problems calving is because she was pushing out two. And they're both uh, really nice sized calves. So, she looks like she is interested in both, but we're going to keep her up in the yard for a day or so and make sure she's keep taking care of both of them. But yeah, that's what the surprise was and why she was having problems calving. So I'm glad that uh, we figured that out. So I guess I should have checked to make sure there wasn't a second one in there. I had just assumed by the size of that calf that uh, there was only one in there. But anyways, let's check and see what it is quick. Easy mama. Oh, uh oh, we got a bull calf. Well, that's a bummer. I know I've kept a couple of calves out of her, but now the little heifer that we pulled um, this evening is now going to be considered a free Martin. So, anyways, that's my treat for the day.